Riches are in the niches. A lot of you might have heard this, but I really want to explain that how this is true and why this is true. First of all, a niche is a very specific category. Uh, it is spelled as N-I-C-H-E. Some people call it niche, some people call it niche. I call it niche. So not offending anyone's pronunciation here. Let's take it forward. Hi, I'm Tejal Chopra, an ex-Amazon manager turned full-time digital marketing strategist and I'm telling you all about the niches and how can you find the riches in those niches. So let's get started. But how, how and what do I mean by niche? So what I want to say is that every time I keep on talking about how identifying your target audience is important, your ideal audience is important. So this is related to the niche. If you know your target audience or your ideal customer belongs to the specific niche, then you can talk very easily to him or her through your copy, through your captions, through your graphics, through your content, through your website, through everything that you do. However, if you are a generic business who says that, you know, I am catering to every person, everyone is my idle audience, I cannot be that specific thing, then it becomes all the more difficult for you. That is why we focus on telling you to find a niche, find a sub niche and find a micro niche. If you have a micro niche, that is the specific group of people, then you can talk very easily to them because all of them speak in a similar way, want to listen the same things, talk in some sense. For example, if you're talking to footballers, you will, you might as well as use certain football keywords that not other people, not I, I won't know that. So you, if you're talking to us in a generic language and I'm not your target audience, I will understand your message, but how does it matter? You should talk to that footballer in his or her language and he'll get you in a snap if you're selling to the footballer. So that is what I mean. That for you to niche down, you have to be very clear of your target audience, very clear of your idle followers, idle audiences, idle customers, because then selling to them becomes a piece of cake. Of course, give them value. Of course, your product and service should do it, but you won't be able to reach them until and unless you're super focused on who you are speaking to or speaking with. So my friend, I tell you, select a niche, select a sub niche in that niche and then a micro niche to make the maximum impact. You would end up spending less money on them because you have a very targeted group of people. Even if you want to reach them with ads, it becomes very cheap for you to do that. And at the same time, it's super focused. So you get amazing results. Whatever you're testing, you would get awesome results if you are talking to the right person directly. So giving you a small example of what a niche, a sub niche and a micro niche can be starting with a niche. So for example, the weight loss industry is can be a niche. So say you are selling something to some people from the weight loss industry that becomes your niche in it. You are targeting on the food and nutrition part. That is the diet part of the weight loss industry. So that becomes a sub niche. Some people focus on exercise, some people focus on diet, some people focus on some other things. So you are focusing on food and nutrition. So that becomes your sub niche. Underneath it, there are a lot of diets available. So you, for example, are talking about a product or you have a product which serves the people who are following the keto diet. So then it makes sense for you to choose that micro niche of people who are following the ketogenic diet. And then when you talk to them, they would simply understand your message because you talk to them in that language, in the language of ketones and ketosis and ketogenic food and probably keto cookies. So say your product is keto cookies. If you're talking to the weight loss industry in general, or if you're talking to the people who are already doing the keto diet, whom would convert, who would convert fast? Who would convert easily and who would convert cheaper cheaper by cheaper i mean with less ad spend from your side so that is why it's super specific super necessary and super important to actually drill down to your ideal audience and know and target a particular niche sub niche and the most important is reaching the micro niche that would help your business in so many different ways that i can't even state all of them here because then this would be a super long video but all I want to say is focus, take some time to create a persona of that ideal audience, maybe give it an hour or two or a week, but truly understand your ideal audience. 
so that when you say something to them, it becomes super easy for them to listen to you, to trust you, to buy your product or service. So tell me, do you have an ideal audience mapped out already or are you going to do it right now? I'm waiting to see your comments and messages in case the niches and the micro niches and sub niches are confusing you and you need my help to develop a strategy for your service or your product and to help you create an ideal client avatar for the same purpose, then feel free to book a free 20 minute discovery call with me by clicking on the link in the description and we'll get connected and I'll help you figure all of this out. Don't worry, don't fret, don't be overwhelmed. Just think about one person who is in your ideal audience and imagine them when you want to sell anything. That will help you out. So I hope this helps. I will see you soon on next Friday with the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.